Welcome to Dr. Charles Speaks, a podcast for now. You've joined us for a special series of transformational talks, selected exclusively from Dr. Charles' corporate success calls. The 15-minute calls are designed to encourage leaders, activate your thought life, and prepare you for the challenges ahead. Dr. Charles joins every call with a blend of his personal experiences, his expertise as a John Maxwell certified mentor and coach, and of course, his more than 30 years of exceptional experience in both corporate America and ministry. Get motivated with Dr. Charles Speaks, a transformational talk from the red line on today's podcast, inspiring excellence and generating results. Good day, my friends. Let's make it a great day. You know what time it is. It's time to listen to what Dr. Charles has to say today. I know you don't have to, but you chose to, and I certainly hope that I can give you something today that will make a difference, that will get your week off to a great start, and and certainly on a positive note. Uh, I'm here today to continue to inspire you and to, to challenge yourself in your own personal growth. I know that over the course of this year, I have grown my personally, and I feel that uh, I, the, the only and correct thing to do is to share some of the learnings that I have learned throughout this particular year. And so today, uh, I want to talk to you about the subject of starting small but believing big. I've been reading the book of John Maxwell called Intentional Living. It's a great read. It's certainly a positive read, one that I feel that you would be inspired. So I just want to share a little bit about that because one of the chapters deals and talks about starting small but believing big. And I know a lot of times people have big dreams and have a vision of where they're going, and uh, they perhaps even think that it'll happen overnight. But I've got news for you. Things just don't happen that way overnight in the sense of it's a process. Unless you hit the lottery, that's an overnight. But look, your chances of winning the lottery are very slim to none. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. That's your odds and winning. But the reality of life and we all are on this earth and we're finding our way and making our way and fulfilling our purpose. At least that's what we should be doing and and then get to the end of the road of life and would have left a legacy where the music will continue to play and the impact of that legacy will continue to make a positive difference in the lives of those that are coming behind us. And so the book, Intentional Living, Starting Small But Believe Big, John Maxwell, he once said this, he said, our life, our life's mission cannot be borrowed from someone else. It must be our own. Think about that. You know, we have a mission, and we can't live someone else's mission. We must find our purpose in life, and we must realize that. We must begin to take steps along that pathway, and that no one can borrow it from us, and that it is ours. We own it. And uh, we must be our own, and that is we are a particular uh, person that God has chosen, and today you have an opportunity to see it even closer because when you think about it, the process is like a parade. It's like a march down the road of life and reaching that destiny. And, you know, I think about that in No matter how long we live, we don't know what year, what day we're going to leave this earth. But while we're here, we certainly can make the best of it. And as someone said, dream as though you're never going to die. So that, to me, means to keep living, keep your mind set on things that are positive, keep moving in a direction that will leave a pathway that others will be able to follow in the way of a positive journey. Maxwell, he goes on, he says, borrowed beliefs have no power, and a borrowed mission instills no conviction or passion for making a difference. You remember the football coach, uh, Tony Dungy, former NFL coach who coached the Indianapolis coach to a uh, Super Bowl? He said this. He said, this is what we should do. He said, do the ordinary things better than anyone else and you will achieve excellence. Do the ordinary things better than anyone else and you will achieve excellence. What is he saying? Invest in yourself. Because it's like taking a penny and doubling its value every day. 
And when we continue to be laser focused and to be scripted in terms of what we can do and what we're good at and do it well and do it often, then it will become a routine and it will become something more than a routine. It will become impactful. It will become something that you will fulfill and others will admire and you'll be able to give back to others and make them better as well. Because one of the most important steps today, my friends, is that you can take in life, it is to increase your belief in yourself. As I've said, if you don't believe in yourself, then you won't bet on yourself. And that's the key, is that you understand that if you have faith, if you can believe in yourself and your abilities, uh, then you will bet on yourself. I'm reminded of a baseball pitcher. He played for the Detroit Tigers. Scherzer, that's his last name. I can't think of his first name right now, but he was coming up to a contract year where he could become a free agent. And uh, the Detroit Tigers had another star on the team, star pitcher uh, Verlander, that was who was the highest paid uh, pitcher on the team. And with Scherzer pitching very good and and certainly um, was in position to make as much or more than Verlander, the owner of the Detroit Tiger, Mike Illich, uh, made him an offer. And it was a handsome offer. It was something like seven years for $148 million. Sounded really good. But Scherzer had turned a corner. He had become a great pitcher for the Tigers. And he decided that um, he was going to test the free agent market. And, uh, of course, it offended Detroit Tigers because they felt like, man, you know, $148 million over seven years, you do the math. That's, that's pretty good. You know, a, a starting pitcher only pitches once every five days, and um, that's a lot of money considering that they were already paying uh, Miguel Cabrera, a uh, powerful hitter, a future Hall of Famer. They were already paying Verlander top dollar, and now Scherzer was looking for a top dollar. Well, they balked on the price that he was looking for, and he became a free agent. And lo and behold, what happens? He signs a seven-year deal with the Washington Nationals, and they paid him something like $217 million. I mean, some over $50, $60 million in what he was offered uh, by the Detroit Tigers. What What am I saying here? He believed in himself, and as a result of believing in himself, he he won out, and uh, he performed. And by the way, since he played for the Washington Nationals, he's gone on to win two Cy Young Awards, and uh, he's in the playoffs today competing to get into the World Series. So the message is, if you don't believe in yourself, you won't bet on yourself. And I want you to be intentional about your living and start believing in yourself. Because if you don't believe you can make a difference, guess what? You won't. No matter how talented you are, or how many opportunities you receive, or how many resources you have at your fingertips, here's the key. You have to believe. Now, we all, I can raise my hand and and say this, we all have a longing to be significant. We have a longing to be or to make a contribution, to be a part of something that's noble, to be a part of something that's purposeful. Everyone has that, or at least I believe so. And we have this in us, and we have it in us, and to make that contribution, there's something that we need to do. We need to be willing, that is, to be focused on others. We need to give of ourselves. I've said before that in order to go up, we must give up, and that is make sacrifices along the way, and we're going to need to give ourselves and giving ourselves as a servant leader and making others around us better. My charge today for you is let's be guided by the desire to improve the lives of others, to help them do what they perhaps cannot do by themselves. The only thing that you need to achieve significance is to do this, to be intentional about starting, And no matter where you are on the journey to date, no matter who you are or what you have, but start today to be intentional 
And though it may begin with small steps, I want you to believe big. There was a person by the name of Parker Palmer, a philosopher and an author. He wrote, Our real freedom comes from being aware that we do not have to save the world. We must simply merely make it a difference in the place where we live. And that's what I'm all about in these messages that I share with you and inspiring you and motivating you is that you don't have to conquer the whole world, but you can make a difference in the place where you are today. You can surely begin now and begin to continue day after day being intentional, being positive, being a person with a mission and a vision. Someone said it like this, be a river, not a reservoir. Whatever you've been given, whatever you've been given, my friends, allow it to flow through you. Get this, allow it to flow through you and pass on to others. Not holding on to it yourselves. What good is it when you leave this earth buried in the grave and you took it all with you? No, as you pass along life's journey, share it. Someone said, I don't want my living to be in vain. That's true. We don't want our living to be in vain, but we want to make a significant difference in the lives of others. Finding your strength finding what it is that you do better than anything else. Find the one thing and stay with it, my friends, because excellent comes from consistency in using your strength. Play to your strength. I've said this before. Many of Major League Baseball pitchers, they make it to the big leagues on the strength and the power of that arm to throw the ball at 95 to 100 miles an hour. That's the pitch that gets the scouts notice. But they work on it. They perfect it. They can throw the ball inside, outside, down low, up high. They can have complete command of it. And when they have command of it, there's not a hitter on the opposing team. They can figure out where the ball's going to be. But the pitcher who has mastered the pitching grace of able to throw the ball perfectly or consistently, they will get the results. I'm reminded that someone wrote, one is not born into the world to do everything but to do something. Practice, my friends, on the one thing with excellence. Do it daily, and you will get a profitable return. I'm working on me. I know that you are working on yourself, and there are some things that I am working to do consistently each and every day. Someone said, if you do it 21 straight days, that it'll become a habit. There's some truth to that. I can say that because it's something on your inside that just pulls at you and says, let's do it. It's time to do it. Uh, And so let's get started. You can get through it. Let's make it a habit. Success is gained in inches. One inch at a time. It's not gained by miles, but Whether it's gained by inches, starting small, but believing big and taking little steps and then taking giant steps. Steve Jobs once said, you will never be more than how you see yourself. Start believing, my friends. Start trusting and you will see a change in your ability to make a difference. I'd like to leave you today with a passage of scripture that I hold true to and I believe it with my whole heart. It comes from Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, 11 verse. It simply reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. My friends, I hope today that I have given you something to grab a hold of And now grab a hold of it and run with it. Let's make it a great day today. This has been Dr. Charles. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to Dr. Charles Speaks. Visit drcharlesred.com for booking info for your ministry, business, or leadership team. Get info about The Red Line, a 15-minute corporate success call each Monday morning with Dr. Charles. Follow Dr. Charles on all social media at Dr. Charles Red. Subscribe to the podcast here for every episode of Dr. Charles Speaks. Thanks for joining us. Like Dr. Charles always says, no matter what, never, never, never give up. Until next time.